Hi, this is Sandy Claire. Welcome to Origami STEAM. STEAM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Art, and Math. Today we are going to fold a cube. The question of the day is, how many sides is there to a cube? I think there are six. So what we need are six pieces of paper, nice square paper. Let's start with blue. This is actually called modular origami, and it's um, more of like a puzzle. You're going to fold six congruent units and put them all together. So first thing we need, it's very easy though, you have to uh, fold it in half, open it, and you'll do the cupboard fold. It looks like a cabinet door. Okay, you see how that looks? You want this. You will be folding these all six at the same time. And I'll show you a quick way to do this. I've already folded three just to save some time. Get the open parts there. And here's one here. Okay. Now, once you have all six, there's only three here, but we're going to do six. You flip it over. Now, here's where you have to make congruent units. I'm going to fold it this way, a right triangle. I call this down and up. Don't forget the baby. That's what I always say to my students. Don't forget the babies. Okay? Down and up again. Now, if you start talking to someone, you might uh, get mixed up and go the other direction you'll quickly find out that it will not fit if you go this way and that way, okay? Whatever way you choose, keep make sure it's congruent. And I'll show you a quick way to check that, okay? Here's my three, and I have three already folded. I'm gonna put them right on top. You see that? Make sure that they are the exact same. Alrighty, now here we go. We're gonna fold each one like this. With the right triangle, set it up that way. You're making a square. Seems pretty easy, doesn't it? The hardest part about modular origami is folding the many units that are required. Some of the really neat ones like the dodecahedron, the Tom Hall buckyball, which I'll be showing very soon. That requires 30 pieces. So that's something you might want to have a friend join in just to help you fold. That takes the longest time. Now, here we go. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Here we go. If you want to make sure they're congruent, you can put them inside like this. I like to do that just to make sure that all the, the pieces are the same. Because if it goes this way, it's not gonna fit. Now watch this. I picture this as like a moving box, but with when you lock your box, when you move, but this is using triangles. I'm gonna watch this. You're gonna do one side at a time. Okay, turn it, slide this one in. Boom, do you see that? That's done. Now we're gonna try this side. I'm going to go once, okay, turn it this way. It's going to feel like you don't know what you're doing, but you do. It feels that way. Here, it's starting to fall into place. Here we go. Here we go. Now, there's other options you can do. We're having a math night at our school, and then we're making dice to practice our, um, our multiplication facts. So you can make these white, put little black dots on there, anything, it, it, you, use your imagination. There's so much you can do, so much fun. Okay, here we go, this, we're almost done. Here's the last two flaps. And if you, you have to butt it up, you can't overlap because these will have a hard time going in. 
And I kind of did that a little bit here. But here we go. Let's fix this. Almost done. Look at that. Six-sided cube. One, two, three, four, five, and six. There you go. Thanks for viewing. Be sure to subscribe and leave me a comment. I'd like to know what you think about this. See you later. Bye-bye.